leading cause of death in 2000 hmm? risk of coronary heart disease is higher in indians compared to other ethnicities three to four height higher than americans six times higher than chinese and 20 times higher than japanese or 20 times higher than japanese so it's very important incidence in young is 12 to 13 percent as compared to 5 percent in western population apply kare young age madhe a lot of people is getting isd so it's very important to discuss this to prevent this for our patients in the future ldl cholesterol is very important for us total lipid profile madhe we give total cholesterol hdl ldl triglyceride so ldl cholesterol is very important for us you should know that only पूर्ण कोलेस्ट्रॉल रिपोर्ट मे का बल कोलेस्ट्रॉल कि टोटल कोलेस्ट्रॉल कि एलडीएल कोलेस्ट्रॉल कि इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी नो ऑल द फैक्टर्स हाइपर टेन्शन स्मोकिंग इवेंट्स जेनेटिक्स लिपिड डिस्डर्स मेटॉलिक सिंड्रोम टाइप टू डायबिटीज एचएस हाई एच एस सी आर पी और हाई सी आर पी क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज ओबिटी लीड्स टू इंक्रीज इन कार्डियोस्क्युलर डिजीजेस नॉट गोइंग दिस बेसिकली In the initial stage, there is endothelial dysfunction, then fatty streak, acid streaks, and from here onwards, depending on your genetics, on your regular exercise, addictions, stress, there starts development of plaque, atherosclerotic plaque, then the vulnerable plaque, then plaque ruptures at some point of time, leads to thrombus formation and then myocardial infarction. So, if somebody is at this stage. we can prevent development of an mi or stroke or cardiovascular uh, event by plaque modification by uh, regular exercise diet control the addictions and all these things what is dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is an abnormal consequences of abnormal lipoprotein metabolism leads to dyslipidemia it can be elevated total cholesterol elevated ldl elevated triglyceride and decreased in hdl low density high density lipoprotein which is good cholesterol And LDL is bad cholesterol. We all know that. So what we are seeing is just iceberg of it. Huh? Ha, motor number, how it's a saga. How many orders? Work. It's very important. So classification, the one I'm hitting by. You should know this classification. Prediction classification, classification of lipid disorders. Saga, no. Saga, pathi madhe hai basic. First year la saga. Double last number hai saga. Prediction phenotype type one, type two A, two B, type three, type four, type five. So of this. type 2 which includes type 2a and 2b are very important for us which includes abnormality of ldl lipoprotein hmm? it's very important for us so to tumhala classification mahiti pajel pedrickson classification and most common is type 2a and type 2b which is important for us so the lipid profile report madhe baraj kai gosti astat estimated lipids lipid profile madhe we get total cholesterol then again subdivided into ldl cholesterol vldl cholesterol and hdl cholesterol and triglycerides which includes chylomicron and vldl got it tamhala report madhe aplyala he sagle yetat what is total cholesterol hdl ldl some some lab gives vldl and there are some lab gives chylomicron usually uh, nobody no lab gives it but vldl is equal to chylomicrons that is synonymous so normal lipid profile total cholesterol should be less than 100 we all know that triglyceride should be less than 150 bad cholesterol like ldl cholesterol should be, should be less than 130 ideally but if the patient has coronary artery disease it should be less than 100 hdl should be more than 50 and vldl is ugly triglycerides which is tg triglyceride divided by 5 it should be less than 30 usually he they say but chilo ko So total cholesterol less than 200, cholesterol less than 150. Bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol should be less than 130 or less than 100. Any of them? HDL should be more than 50. The values like that, that which one garas nahi hai. Current practical lab che any bracket madhe normal values dil le asta. Normal values are given given in the bracket, so we don't have to remember these values. But by and large, if anybody asks, should be less than these values. Total cholesterol what 200, 150, then 130, 50, and less than 30. And now there is a concept called extended lipid profile, which includes this lipid profile plus homocysteine, lipoprotein A, APLA syndrome, APO A, APO lipoprotein A, APO lipoprotein B, HCRP and uric acid. This is called as extended lipid profile. These are all markers of coronary artery disease. We will not go into details. 
इंडियन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट है अपने क्या युजली लो एच डी एल इज वेरी कॉमन अबाउट फोर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ पेशेंट लो एच डी एल लेस दैन फोर्टी थर्टी नाइन थर्टी टू का रिपोर्ट होता है हाई अबाउट थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ पेशेंट एल पी ए इज वन ऑफ द मार्कर इट इज अबाउट इलेवेटेड इन थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ पेशेंट्स एंड हाई एच डी एल इज जस्ट इन इन हाई एल डी एल इज जस्ट इन इन टेन पर्सेंट ऑफ पेशेंट्स यूजली वी सी एल डी एल इन द रेंज ऑफ वन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी फोर वन फिफ्टी वन थर्टी इन दैट रेंज सो इट इज In case of hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia, 95% of this are secondary, like hypertension. 90% of this are primary hypertension. In dyslipidemia, 90% of the things dyslipidemia is because of secondary things: obesity, metabolic syndrome, and and only 5% are genetic. So we have to first thing which is common. 95% is common, so we have to first think of that. What are the conditions in which cholesterol? And LDL cholesterol is increased. There are many other conditions in which you can see LDL cholesterol is increased: hypothyroidism, nephrosis, and nephrotic syndrome, and SLE or multiple myeloma, connective tissue disorders, patient taking steroids or having liver abnormality, or patients taking HIV drugs, infection drugs, or patients with obesity, type 2 diabetes mellitus, excessive alcohol intake, hypothyroidism. These patients have high triglycerides. So basically, you have an abnormal report. The first C of these causes, CRF I ka, obesity I ka, hypothyroidism I ka, hypothyroidism and dyslipidemia are very commonly associated. So once you correct hypothyroidism, sometimes dyslipidemia is also corrected. So it's very important to know the secondary causes for increase in LDL and plus total cholesterol. Now directly upon hyperlipidemia or dyslipidemia, it's a directly diagnosis करत नहीं. मैं जब लेकर पेशेंट है तो और अपन directly तलाफ तो dyslipidemia ऐसा diagnose करते हो. ऐसा होता है usually. So usually, hyperlipidemia usually has no noticeable symptoms. Usually, we see the reports and then diagnose as hyperlipidemia. But sometimes, indirectly, we can get some clue whether the patient has got dyslipidemia or not. So usually, have no noticeable symptoms and tend to discuss during routine examination or evaluation for atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases. Xanthomas, xanthomas or eyelids, xanthomatas. But what is the secondary eyes? These are the symptoms: chest pain, heart attack, abdominal pain, enlarged liver and spleen. Then blood reports showing high cholesterol and triglycerides. And then other signals, pimples like lesions across the body. Got it? Now we'll see one by one. So this is tumorous xanthoma. Flat hmm? top, yellow foam tumor. These are actually deposition of cholesterol under your skin, under your dermis, basically. As a result. I definitely try to search for this lipidemia then some is must yeah she bus patient la but young male tumhi bagitle typical obese ahet short stature ahet asha patient young madhe pan apan bas bolte some is must there are multiple longitudinal creamy orange streaks slightly elevated papules on eyelids these are called xanthomas this is tuberous xanthomas over the tendinous tendons of the lower limbs or upper limb tendinous xanthomas large subcutaneous tumors adherent to achilles tendon he ase kay support tumhala tyamule patient la tumcha kade ala clinic madhe tar tela bed var zopaycha ani purna examine karaycha they are very important small clues kiwa ase kay eruptions yet astil these are lipid eruptions papular eruptus xanthomas multiple multiple discrete red to yellow confluent papules स्किन वरती है डेफिनेटली सर्च फॉर डिस्लिपिडिमिया वेरी इंपॉर्टंट विल नॉट गो इन ऑल रुटीन लाइफ वी नो दैट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टंट नॉ कमिंग टू एथ्रोस्लोरोसिस अगेन अनदर पार्ट ऑफ अवर लेक्चर एथ्रोस्लोरोटिक कार्डोस्क्यूलर डिजीज ए सी ए एस सी विडी स्कोर अपन मगे डिस्कस करना तो सपरेट लेक्चर मध्य पो जस्ट पंद्रह मिनटा टॉपिक है इट विल बी वेरी स्मॉल What are the major atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk factors? Again, major risk factors are advancing age, elevated total cholesterol, elevated non-HDL cholesterol, elevated LDL cholesterol, hypertension, diabetes, smoking, CKD, or family history. Is there? My additional risk factors are again obesity, family history, like increase in ApoB, increase in HDL, small density, 
HDL small dense LDL uh, LDL cholesterol PCOD dyslipidemia triad and baki uh, additional factors lipoprotein A clotting factors inflammatory markers hmm? so these are major risk factors additional risk factors and non traditional risk factors sign so, i mean could you give inflammatory marker yeah it can be a risk factor so now apply that ek other patient ala so what is his probability of getting a cardiovascular event in next 10 years there are various risk score i'll just minimize this what is how the risk assess the risk costly the risk of getting coronary artery disease or coronary event the 10 year risk of coronary event should be determined by detailed assessment of using more or more following tools running a risk assessment tool not going details of anybody of them then measure ten years atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk with coronary calcium calculator calcification calculator renal risk score which includes such as crp and you keep it a risk engine to calculate atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk in patient with type 2 diabetes he ashe tumcha score ahe feminine risk score atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk score he sage play store madhe tumhala available hotel if you want to see will not go in details of each one of them we'll just see this one huh this is an atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk calculator it is available in the play store basic information lagta hmm? hai what is your male female hai ka systolic and diastolic blood pressure age race total cholesterol hdl cholesterol diabetes smokers blood pressure kiti hai from this we can calculate the risk score and depending if the risk score is less than 5% between 5 to 10% more than 10% we decide whether to give medicines to give statins or what precautions to take depending on this risk score so this atherosclerotic ascvd calculator is available in play store aple mobile madhe download kara and baraz vela mi prescription madhe aajkal lehla laglelo ahe ascvd risk is 5 to 10% more than 10% it's very important so what is the risk categories atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk categories low risk no risk factors moderate risk moderate risk or few risk factors and calculated near a risk of less than 10% manje moderate risk risk manje calculated near a risk is between 10 to 20% is high risk very high risk is when the risk goes to more than 20% it is very high risk and then ex extreme risk manje progressive atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk including unstable angina that persist after achieving an ld cholesterol of less than 70 or established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease with diabetes a ckd a a strong family history hai it goes in extreme risk basically low risk moderate risk high risk very high risk and extreme risk so if this score is less than 10% it is moderate risk if it is state to 20% and more than 20% is over lakshat thona तेवढ सोप नाही आहे पण लेस दॅन टेन पर्सेंट टेन टू ट्वेंटी अँड मोर दॅन ट्वेंटी एवढं लक्षात ठेवलं तर चालेल होम टू स्क्रीन दॅट वॉज अ स्मॉल पॉट ऑफ एथोस्क्लोटिक कार्डोस्क्लोर रिस्क स्कोर कॅल्क्युलेटर होम टू स्क्रीन फॉर डिस्लिपिडिमिया अँड वॉट शुड हाऊ शुड बी ट्रीट फॉर डिस्लिपिडिमिया वॉट आर द लिपिड गोल्स होम शुड बी स्क्रीन फॉर डिस्लिपिडिमिया म्हणजे कोणाची कोलेस्ट्रॉलची तपासणी केली प्रोफाईलची तपासणी ऍडवाइस करायची फॅमिलियल हायपर कोलेस्ट्रॉल मध्ये असेल तर प्रीमॅच्युअर डेथ झाली आहे फॅमिलीमध्ये एवढं लक्षात ठेवा एज लेस दॅन फिफ्टी फाईव्ह इन फादर्स ऑर फर्स्ट डिग्री रिलेटिव ऑर बिफोर सिक्स्टी फाईव्ह इन मदर बेसिकली प्रीमॅच्युअर डेथ लेस दॅन फिफ्टी या सिक्स्टी एजच्या अंडर झाली एवढं लक्षात ठेवा दॅट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इलेक्ट्रेड कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स कन्सिस्टंट विथ फॅमिलियल हायपर कोलेस्ट्रॉल मध्ये समजा एखाद्या पेशंट आला तुमच्याकडे आणि फॅमिलीमध्ये अर्ली डेथ झालेली आहे लेस दॅन फिफ्टी एज सिक्स्टी एज त्या वडील लवकर एक्सपायर झाले अशा पेशंटचं तुम्ही डिस्लिपिडीमे वर्कअप किंवा लिपिड प्रोफाईलचे टेस्ट करा पेशंट विथ डायबिटीज ऑल पेशंट विथ डायबिटीज शूड अंडर गो लिपिड प्रोफाईल टेस्टिंग इन फॉरेन कंट्रीज यंग ऍडल्ट्स मेल बिटवीन ट्वेंटी अँड फोर्टी फायव्ह अँड वुमन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी अँड फिफ्टी फायव्ह एज इन दिस एज ग्रुप इफ दे डोंट हॅव एनी अदर सिमटम्स every all adults 20 years of age or older for dyslipidemia every 5 years as a part of global risk assessment so the diabetes asel the once a year so the diabetes nasel and young asel and strong family history nasel every 5 years got it 
if age is less than 45 or 55 in women 45 in male 55 in women and for 45 and 55 cha jasta asel tar everyone to year got it and again older than 65 asel tar everyone year it's very will not discuss children and adolescent because it is a totally different topic in itself so basically familial history asel strong अर्ली डेट असेल फादर्स मदर्स किंवा एनी ब्रदर्स वगैरे डू लिपिड प्रोफाईल इमिजिएटली इन दॅट पेशंट पेशंट विथ डायबिटीज असेल तर डू लिपिड प्रोफाईल वन्स अ इयर अँड पेशंट लेस दॅन फॉर्टी फाय इयर्स असेल अँड फिफ्टी फाय इयर्स इन वुमेन अँड डू एव्हरी फाय इयर्स यू डोंट हॅव एनी रिस्क फॅक्टर्स अँड इफ देर आर मोर दॅन फॉर्टी फाय एज इन मेल्स अँड फिफ्टी फाय इन फिमेल्स डू एव्हरी टू टू थ्री इयर्स वन टू टू इयर्स अँड अगेन मोर दॅन सिक्स्टी फाय एव्हरी वन इयर इट्स व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट what are apo apo proteins we will not go in details of this again apo a and apo b ase don astat apo b and or an apo b or apo b to apo a ratio equation is very important some lab gives it and evaluation may be useful at risk individuals got it we should know apo b measurements reflecting a particular concentration of ldl is very important apo b is a bad lipo protein apo a is a good lipo protein that you should all know it that's is important then other things are calcium coronary calcium scoring hcrp lipoprotein a homocysteine level carotid intima media which is seen by radiologist in carotid arteries are very important what are the treatment goals we not go in details of this hey matwacha hai this slide is very important extreme risk extreme risk manje progressive atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease acvd including unstable angina in individuals after achieving an ldl less than 70 manje ldl khup kami control madhe ahe tari patient la symptoms ahet unstable angina hai recurrent cardiac events ahet ka patient with diabetes mellitus is 3 step 4 ckd or history of premature cardiovascular disease it is it falls in extreme risk in that risk the ldl cholesterol goal according to new guidelines it is less than 55 ldl cholesterol in such patients should be less than 55 non hdl cholesterol should be less than 80 and apo b should be less than 70 apo b is a bad bad thing apo b correlates with lipoprotein c my ldl cholesterol so apo b and ldl cholesterol goes hand in hand lakshya hmm? thevar super hai apo a is a good uh, cholesterol apo b is a bad one hmm? apo b goes hand in hand with ldl cholesterol so the extreme risk ldl cholesterol should be less than 55 he madla naka lakshat ke tumhi he pan naka lakshat ke hmm so ldl cholesterol lakshat ke why should be less than 55 in extreme risk very high risk less than 70 high risk less than 100 and low risk less than 130 got it so normally should be less than 130 the okay, moderate to high risk madhe less than 100 and extreme risk Uh, very high risk less than 70 and extreme risk is less than 55 is very important do remember these values because it's very difficult to remember only ldl cholesterol in extreme high risk patients with unstable angina with established cardiovascular disease should be less than 55 is the aim and less than 70 okay hoga jena diabetes ahe किंवा फॅमिलियल हिस्ट्री आहे शुड बी लेस दॅन सेव्हन्टी दिस टू आर इम्पॉर्टंट अँड पेशंट हु आर लो रिस्क समजा एखादा तुमच्याकडे आला मुलगा त्याचं एल डी एल कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेस दॅन एल डी एल कोलेस्ट्रॉल वन फॉर्टी फाय वन फिफ्टी विथ नो रिस्क फॅक्टर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दॅट ए एस सी व्ही डी स्कोर हॅज गॉट झिरो रिस्क फॅक्टर्स वी शुड टेल इन दॅट इट शुड बी लेस दॅन वन थर्टी सेम इट्स व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट कमिंग टू एलिवेटेड ग्लिसाइड लेवल नॉर्मली टी जी लेवल शुड बी लेस दॅन वन फिफ्टी when we see patients with familiar hypertriglyceridemia i have two three patients whose ldl cholesterol triglyceride level is usually more than 500 with treatment it comes down to about 152 to 200 in between these values but if we stop treatment we stop fibrates for that patient his value again goes very high hmm? so if a patient has got triglyceride level of more than 1 uh, 150 it's abnormal but if it is very high the body the heights okay if it is very high and very high he should be treated 
triglyceride level more than 200 may indicate a substantial increase in ACVD risk. Hypertriglyceridem is also commonly associated with prokaryotic state and hypertension, so it should be treated. What are the treatment available for dyslipidemia? First, lifestyle change upon second is something physical activity, medical nutritional therapy, and smoking situation because smoking causes an increase in uh, uh, LDL cholesterol or triglycerides. So it should be good. Then many drugs which are being tried, some are in uh, new drugs, some are routinely used, statins, fibrates, omega-3 fatty acids, niacin. And what we are speaking about niacin, bile acid secretors are not used nowadays. Cholesterol absorption inhibitors, again, sometimes we are using it, PCSK9 inhibitors. Let's see what are this. So HMG statins, they are HMG co reductase inhibitors, statins. Hmm? Uh, using nowadays very regularly, almost all patients with diabetes, all patients with uh, CKD, all patients undergoing graphene or requiring CBG, then niacin nicotinic acid, omega 3 fatty acids. See, niacin has not gained popularity because it does not affect all cause mortality. But it is very important. HMG coid reductase inhibitor has shown to decrease in mortality. We all know that. But nicotinic acid, niacin, it is contraindicated in severe peptic ulcer disease, chronic liver disease, and severe gout. It has side effects of flushing and may increase uric acid as well as glucose level. And it does not affect all cause mortality. So it's not very uh, being very popular and it's not written by most of the physicians, cardiologists. Rarely if the patient insists, patient wants it, patient wants HDL to increase fast, then sometimes we address niacin. But almost last one to two years, I have not written a single prescription of niacin. Again, bile acid sequestration, sequestrance has a lot of side effects, a lot of GI side effects, constipation, nausea, bloating, and little poor address in most of the patients, which is not being like written. Visit pipe was out for a few days now. Now again, it has been in market with statin, but again, lack of clinical data as a monotherapy or also combined with statin, but we are using it now. Fibrates we are using in patients with increase in triglycerides. Now these are very important slides. Statins for primary prevention, secondary prevention. Hmm? This is very important. Primary prevention means that as any heart attack, alil na ye, jee jee angioplasty, alil na ye, coronary disease na ye thala. It is called as primary prevention. So, in primary prevention, if the patient with LDL cholesterol more than 190, you should have seen the patient report given a young patient ahe, and his LDL cholesterol is more than 190. Now, what you, you should do? Whether you are at for cause, whether it is primary or secondary, you are at treat accordingly. First, we'll see uh, secondary. Secondary is there's some other cause for that. Middle mm -hmm. cholesterol more than 190, obesity, ahe, patient hypothyroidism, ahe, CKD, ahe, diabetes, ahe. look for any other cause associated with increase in LDL cholesterol. And if it is primary, then uh, hydrostatins, if LDL cholesterol is more, more than 190, you give hydrostatins this class 1B indication and maximum tolerated dose 1B indication. And the, our main aim is to reduce LDL cholesterol by at least 50%. So if it is more than 190, suppose it is 190 or 195, we have to bring down to 90. More than 50% reduction. So what dose of statin should be given, we'll discuss it afterwards. Basically, LDL cholesterol more than 190, you need to give treatment. That is for sure. But the diabetes is more than 190, age more than 21, you give statin for that patient. Suppose if it is more than 190, definitely you give statin. And if it is less than 190, we'll see what to do. Without clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or diabetes with LDL cholesterol of 70 to 189 and estimated 10 years risk is more than 7.5, then give statin. If it is more than 190, definitely give statin. 
if it is less than 190 if it is less than 190 then calculate his scvd score if it is more than 7.5 give statin if it is less than 7.5 you can still wait for statins the diabetes mother if it is more than 189, if it is more than 189, 190 and above, definitely you have to give statin for all patients. Diabetes I and I, that is a different story. You have to give for all patients, whether it is diabetes or non-diabetes. But if it is diabetes patient, with LDL cholesterol between 70 and 189, if age is less than 40 years, more than 75 years, balance between ACVD benefit and adverse effects. It is class C, class 2A indication with level of C evidence. Then when a diabetes patient has cholesterol is between, LDL cholesterol is between 70 and 189, age is less than 40 years, more than 75 years, then you balance it. You think of it, you give high dose statins, low dose statins, they just tell you, they just not yet. Usually less than 40 years, diabetes patient, LDL cholesterol, come here, sell. So statin is not absolutely indicated. You can stop statin, you can hold statin in that patient. If the patient, diabetic patient is between 40 and 75 years of age, then definitely give statin. So the moderate basic intensity of statin, basic high intensity of statin, that depends on the profile. Okay, then. So basically more than 190 acyl LDL cholesterol is more than 190, give statin to all. If it is less than 190, diabetic acyl, and if 40 to 75 years, mother sell the statin there. Less than 40 years, sale, more than 75 years, sale, neither the other is statin. And diabetes, no sale. And LDL cholesterol is between 70 and 189. And calculate his ASCVD score. Or just see for the risk factors. See, ASCVD score is difficult for every time to calculate. So if it is hypertension, he has smoking, and he is obese, he has strong family history, you can see it as a started statin for that patient. So statin kona kona dena dumi. Four major statin groups. Clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Mujhe clinically MI ahe theda. Plasti zale liye, bypass zale liye. Kya angiography mujhe lesions ahe. Tar you give statin. Kya stroke ahe. Give statin for that patients. If primary LDL cholesterol elevation is more than 190, give statin to all. If LDL cholesterol is more than 190, give statin to all. If it is less than 190. ASCVD score calculate, calculate kara. Yes, atherosclerotic cardiovascular score more than 7.5 SL. They give statin. And diabetes patient SL between 40 and 75 H give statin to that patient. If it is less than 40, then you can wait. More than 75, you can wait. There is no need to give. Hmm? Not see on secondary prevention. High intensity statin should be initiated or continued as a first line therapy in men or women less than 75 years of age who have clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular unless contraindicated manje high intensity give moderate intensity statin you should give to all patient with clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease At high intensity manje kay moderate intensity statin and low intensity manje kay hmm? a high intensity manje khub avgad vatte technically khub mota dam vatto pan daily dose of with high intensity what it means daily dose of statin what we give 20 mg 40 mg it should decrease LDL cholesterol by approximately 50%. Which is rhodostatin 20 or 40 mg and atrostatin 40 to 80 mg will decrease LDL cholesterol by approximately 50% in next 4 weeks or 8 weeks. So, this is moderate intensity but decrease LDL cholesterol by between 30 and 50%. More than 50% if it is more than 190, in that patient our target is to reduce more than 50%. Which is 190 so we have to make 85. So we have to give high intensity statin to that patient. That is the thing. Now statins, apart from lipid lowering, decreasing total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, has some pleiotrophic effect. Pleiotrophic effect is not the same as the same. Anti-thrombotic effect, anti-thrombotic effect. So statin upon lipid kami karal let me. But it has got anti-thrombotic and anti-coagulant effect. Decreased tissue factor, decreased coagulation, decreased platelet activation. It causes plaque stabilization. It has an anti-inflammatory effect also. It has an antioxidant effect also. And it has got endothelial, good endothelial function. It increases endothelial function, increases nitric oxide bioavailability, and increases endothelial progenitor cells. So, statin apart from lipid lowering effect, 
it has got plug stabilization effect which is very important anti thrombotic effect very important suppose ek ji apan angiography ke liye his angiography shows 50 to 60% blockages and if that person we keep on statin depending on the ldl cholesterol level uh, if we ldl cholesterol is under control he he can be very well managed manage with medicine without increasing the uh, blockages if he is kept on statins his blockage may not increase further from 50% 60% to 70% 90% he sar kasha mule te ldl cholesterol kami hotat jay pan he pleurotrophic effect pan ahe statin che mhanun statin pan dewa asha patient la very important depends in ldl cholesterol reduction initially kin low statin mopra statin simo statin flu statin atro statin sti statin aple kade ale nayan jo statin तो हेजा मतले सगळे स्टॅटिन बघता अट्रोस्टॅटिन एंड रोजोस्टॅटिन व्हॉट वी आर युजिंग नाउ डेज हॅज गॉट मॅक्झिमम रिडक्शन ऑफ एलडीएल कोलेस्ट्रॉल अबाउट 51% एंड 55% रिडक्शन ऑफ सीरम एलडीएल कोलेस्ट्रॉल रिडक्शन इट इज मॅक्झिमम विथ सिम्बोस्टॅटिन अट्रोस्टॅटिन एंड रोजोस्टॅटिन आपल्याकडे नाही पण बाहेरच्या देशात सिम्बोस्टॅटिन अजून ही वापरतात आपल्याकडे येणारे पेशंट येतात प्लास्टिकथेरपी साठी देयर ऑल ऑन सिम्बोस्टॅटिन but in our patients atrostatin and rosestatin are used in almost 100% of patients hmm? ldl cholesterol reduction is about 55% with rosestatin and 51% with atrostatin almost same hmm? not go with comparable efficacy of statin hmm? usually amirgam of rosestatin or 10 mg it is equivalent to 20 mg atrostatin or 40 mg atrostatin the crestor and lipid or he compare kele the brand and that also is lucky rosestatin 5 mg it is equal to atrostatin 20 mg rosestatin 10 mg it is equal to atrostatin 40 mg and it 20 mg is equal to 80 mg so rosestatin we can give as a later, uh, lesser dose as compared to atrostatin which has got lesser side effect special consideration no renal dose adjustment is required in atrostatin and rosestatin rosestatin can be used in chronic liver disease atrostatin and rosestatin less drug interaction rosestatin has got less drug interaction less muscle toxicity again rosestatin has got less muscle toxicity and cost effective this three rosestatin and atrostatin are cost effective as compared to other statins so no renal dosing used in chronic liver disease less muscle toxicity and cost effective stands both are atrostatin and rosestatin falls in this group time course of statin effect he khub mahatvachi slide hai ki aaj apan ekra statin chalu kela ani tela parat 4 dashani 8 dashani 15 dashani mahinyani mi basu shakta anstar balanja na ho shakta so this statin takes time to act takes time to show clinical benefit इट्स नॉट आज स्टार्टिंग दिला म्हणजे महिन्यात त्याला काय एमआय बसणार नाही इट इज नॉट लाईक दॅट सो एखाद्याची अँजिओग्राफी केली आपण तीस पस्तीसच्या थर्टी फाय फॉर्टी एज मध्ये ए गिव्ह हिन स्टार्टिंग फॉर लॉंग टर्म मे बी थ्री इयर्स फाय इयर्स टेन इयर्स ॲट दॅट टाईम ही विल शो रिड्यूस कार्डक इव्हेंट्स ॲज कम्पेअर टू अदर पेशंट्स हियर एल्डियल कोलेस्ट्रॉल आफ्टर गिव्हिंग स्टार्टिंग विल ऑफ इमिजिएटली विद इन वन वीक सिक्स टाईम देन endothelium function endothelial function is restored gradually when ldl cholesterol is lowered then there is reduced inflammation reduced ischemic episodes are reduced when inflammation is reduced then coagulation factors are reduced and then ischemic episodes are reduced and there is stabilization of vulnerable plaque and then the cardiac event will reduce so it's a course of years not a matters of just uh, one weeks or days huh? statin for long, long term is important एक दोन महिने स्टार्टिंग देऊन इट्स नॉट ऑफ यूज इट विल रिड्यूस एलडीएल कोलेस्ट्रॉल बट अगेन इट विल इंक्रीज इफ यू स्टॉप स्टार्टिंग इट विल इंक्रीज एंड इट विल नॉट हैव इफेक्ट ऑन लॉन्ग टर्म नॉट हैव लॉन्ग टर्म बेनिफिट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टंट दिस दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टंट अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टंट स्लाइड कॉमन साइड इफेक्ट्स आर हेडेक माइलजिया फटीग जॉइंट इंटरफेरेंस फ्लू लाइक सिम्टम्स इन स्टार्टिंग्स एच एम जी को रिड्यूस इन मीटर स्टार्टिंग्स व्हाट वी आर यूजिंग इट इंक्रीजिंग लिवर एंजाइम्स this problem is very rare occurs in 0.5% of cases in dose dependent manner and myopathy which is very common in seen in 0.2 to 0.4% of patients point means 1000 to 2 zale 
हजरत मधुदानांना मायोपॅथी होऊ शकते रेअर कॉज ऑफ रॉबडोमायलायसिस लास्ट टेन इयर्स टू थ्री ऑफ माय पेशंट हॅज रिक्वायर्ड हॅज रॅबडोमायलायसिस इन लास्ट टेन इयर्स वन पेशंट डिंट रिक्वायर डायलिसिस टू पेशंट रिक्वायर डायलिसिस ऑफ देम ऑफ द थ्री पेशंट्स सो दिस रॅबडोमायलायसिस मायोपॅथी शुड बी रिकग्नाइज्ड एट वेरी अर्ली स्टेज आपण जस्ट जनरल बॉडी म्हणून ट्रीट करत झालो तर इट विल बी व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट पेशंट लँड लँड्स इन रेनल फेलियर वी कॅन रिड्यूस दिस रिस्क बाय कॉशनी कॉशियसली यूज स्टॅटिन इन इम्पेअर्ड रेनल फंक्शन बेसिकली अट्रॉस्टॅटिन युजिंग द लोएस्ट इफेक्टिव्ह डोस विच इज रिक्वायर्ड कॉशियसली कंबाइनिंग स्टॅटिन विथ फायब्रेट्स अगेन इट विल इन्क्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ मायोपॅथी मसल टॉक्सिटी रिक्वायर्स डिस्कंटिनेशन ऑफ स्टॅटिन बेसिकली एखाद्या वेळा आपण स्टॅटिन स्टार्ट केलं रोजो स्टॅटिन ऑट्रोस्टॅटिन आणि इफ ही कम्स बॅक ऑर स्टार्ट कम्प्लेनिंग ऑफ बॉडी एक लेग पेन ऑर मायोपॅथी इन नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज ऑर फाय डेज ऑर वन वीक डेफिनेटली थिंक ऑफ स्टॅटिन डेफिनेटली थिंक ऑफ स्टॅटिन इंड्यूस मायोपॅथी टू गेट द रिस्क पेशंट हॅज गॉट जस्ट लो एल डी एज एल डी एल एज लो एच डी एल अँड हाय एल डी एल रिस्क इज वन प्लस again lp is again you know, one of the major risk factors we not discuss in detail the patient has increase in lp increasing uh, cholesterol and low ldl the risk is low hdl the risk is very high plus so all parameters are important high ldl low hdl increase in lp and total cholesterol important so this is a new molecule this can an inhibitor एव्हलुझुमॅप अँड इव्हलुझुमॅप हे दोन आपल्याकडे अवेलेबल आहेत पीसीएस केन अँड इनिबिटर्स वन नॉट गोन डिटेल्स इट इज अब्क्यूड इंजेक्शन इट इज टू बी गिवन सब्क्यूड इंजेक्शन एव्हरी टू वीक्स फॉर टू मंथ्स ऑर थ्री मंथ्स वी कॅन टेक दिस इंजेक्शन सेवन्टी फाय मिलीग्राम एव्हरी टू वीक्स अँड दिस एव्हलुझुमॅप वन फॉर्टी मिलीग्राम एव्हरी टू वीक्स ऑर फोर ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम एव्हरी मंथ पीस इज एव्हरी टू वीकली इंजेक्शन ऑर वन्स अ मंथली इंजेक्शन गिवन सब्क्यूड इंजेक्शन इट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट बेसिकली ज्यांना रिकरंट अँजोप्लास्टी लागते यंग एज मध्ये मल्टिपल वेसल डिझीज आहे डिफ्यूज अथ्रोस्लोरोसिस आहे अशा पेशंटला इन्स्पाइट ऑफ गिव्हिंग स्टॅटिन्स इफ यू गेट रिकरंट इव्हेंट्स इन इन्स्पाइट ऑफ गिव्हिंग स्टॅटिन्स वी गेव दिस पीसीएस के नाईन इनिबिटर्स यू शुड नो दॅट तुमच्याकडे पण पेशंट येईल की बाबा रिकरंट इव्हेंट्स होत आहेत मला दोनदा अँजोप्लास्टी झालेली आहे तीनदा अँजोप्लास्टी झालेली आहे पण परत बायपास सांगितले केव्हा सांगितले अशा पेशंटला डेफिनेटली पीसीएस के नाईन इनिबिटर्स आर युजफुल टू कंट्रोल द लिपिड लेवल्स ज्या काही स्ट्रिक्ट इंडिकेशन आहेत पेशंट इज ऑलरेडी ऑन स्टार्टिंग इज इट मेड अँड स्टील द लिपिड आर नॉट एट गोल अँड पेशंट इज हॅव्हिंग क्लिनिकल सिम्टम्स ऑफ अनस्टेबल अँड जेना अँड डेफिनेटली पीसीएस के नाईन इनिबिटर एवढंच लक्षात ठेवा काहीतरी नवीन ड्रग आहे ते सबक्यूट इंजेक्शन द्यायचं आहे आपण टू ट्रीट फॉर डिस्क्रिपिटी मेन पेशंट विथ एथोस्पिरोटिक कार्डिओस्क्युलर डिझीज सो डेफिनेटली देर सम न्यू थिंग इज इट माय विल नॉट गो इन डिटेल्स अगेन एम टी बी इनिबिटर्स आर देअर नॉट गो इन डिटेल्स Tag is right. If it is very high, if it is between 150 and 200, then only diet is recommended. If it is 200 to 500, then drug, diet plus drug. And then intensive therapy, if it is more than 500. I'm going to detail. Phenofibates we are using for increase in triglycerides. We are using it regularly along in combination with statin. so dyslipidemia what is the indian triad say this the dyslipidemia triad is increase in ldl cholesterol we should be treated with statin decrease in ldl which is to be treated with niacin but it has got lot of side effects so usually not written and increase in triglyceride should be given for diets 145 or 145 or 6160 mg or 200 mg how do we treat again we have seen that increasing ldl hdl ldl if it's statin c minus isimib or pcs can inhibit us then increase in triglyceride statins along in combination with fibrates again for decrease in L, uh, decrease patient having decrease hdl and increase lpa niacin is a drug but i don't think so 
it is being used nowadays by most of the physicians or cardiologists or even uh, you and then combination of statins and fibrates and niacin hmm? so what is the effect of diabetes medicines on lipids so insulin has favorable effect on lipids metformin has mildly favorable effect on lipids sulfonylureas which are still eaten commonly uh, have no favorable effect on lipids then glitazone and acarbos has favorable effect or no effect so basically sulfonylureas has no favorable effect on lipids everyone like check this but all diabetic medicine medicines have favorable effect on lipids there are new anti diabetic drugs which are coming to uh, picture so these are the basic drugs only sulfonylureas has does not show any favorable effect on lipids that should be remembered diuretics has an unfavorable effect on lipids basically diuretics in the form of on opd basis what we used is ctd hydrochlorothiazide and indapamide natrolex sr so basically ctd and hydrochlorothiazide does not have any favorable effect on lipids in fact it causes dyslipidemia it causes increase in uric acid it causes increase in electrolyte imbalance so diuretics used on opd basis had does not have a favorable effect on lipids indapamide has got good effect on lipids mildly favorable as in what is an arbs has got very favorable effect on lipids bitter globulus again causes dyslipidemia and calcium gel globulus has no effect so diuretics bitter globulus and sulfonylureas ethyl laxative has got bad effect or not favorable effect on lipids creatinine kind of to not be measured in individual receiving statin therapy suppose apan ekadela statin chalu kele roza statin atro statin chalu kele tala kai symptoms nahi ahet this kind of still the don't do it can be as a routine test baseline measurement of hepatic someone is level sgot sgpt should be performed before initiating statin therapy because a individual receiving statin therapy should be evaluated for new onset diabetes mellitus this is very rare maybe only one percent of cases so patients on long term statin maybe six year one year you should do his bsl fasting pp as well as hbonc avoid unnecessary discontinuation of statin obtain a history of prior or current muscle symptoms to establish baseline therapy baseline symptoms before initiating statin hmm? very important if unexplained severe muscle symptoms or fatigue developed during statin therapy discontinue statin uh, address the possibility of rhabdomyolysis by evaluating cpk creatinine kinase or cp not cpk creatinine kinase creatinine level and urine for myoglobinuria a test khub mahatvache from that we diagnose whether patient has rhabdis if the patient has mild to moderate symptom during statin therapy discontinuing statin until the symptom should be are evaluated and patient can be restarted on another group of statin the patient gets up symptoms mild symptom with atrostatin you can give rosostatin if patient gets symptom with rosostatin you can start him on pitastatin which is available with us it again niacin cutaneous the symptom it is reasonable to start niacin at a lower dose and try it at a higher dose uh, depending on reliability take niacin with food or pre medication with aspirin about 30 minutes before niacin dosing to reduce the side effect okay so after starting With the patient on statin, what to do? Reassess patient's lipid status four to twelve weeks after therapy initiation, and again four to twelve weeks interval until the goal is achieved. Once the goal is achieved, you give uh, uh, you test for lipid profile every six to twelve months interval. Normally, when the patient is stabilized on lipid, uh, we have started him on statin. Check his lipid profile. Usually, we call patient.
every two months it's not uh, possible for also the patient to get and visible also so once the lipids are stable then check 12 months of interval more frequent lipid status evaluation is needed in following circumstances detection of diabetes control the use of new drug which affects lipid level maybe if the patient is taking steroids or any other drugs which affects lipid levels a patient has developed hypothyroidism or progressive arthrosomatic disease in spite of taking uh, antibiotics weight gains in the cell or an unexpected adverse change in any lipid parameter or development of a new coronary artery disease just last few slides statin therapy should be used in primary prevention of cardiovascular disease in high risk patients we have seen low risk patient moderate risk patient high risk very high risk extreme high risk patient statin therapy should be initiated in patient with a history of cardiovascular disease or risk equivalent high dose statin therapy should be initiated in patient with acute coronary syndrome Positive by niacin, fibrates, and bilateral sequestration, bilateral binding resins, lowers cholesterol, but does not change patient-oriented outcomes. Sometimes patient may get side effect with these drugs. Fibrates and niacin has not been shown to reduce all-cause mortality in secondary prevention and should be used adjunct with statin alone. And should be used adjunct with statins. This is very busy slide. this we have seen it in last few slides so coming to summary dyslipidemia has been recognized as an important risk factor for coronary heart disease lowering of ldl cholesterol has been shown to reduce the, reduce the risk of coronary heart disease statin has a important role statin has well established role in primary as well as secondary prevention of atherosclerosis Statin is a beneficial in plaque stabilization in patient with ACS. High dose of atrostatin before angioplasty reduces ACS. At not good. I think this was the last slide. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Basically. It has got higher atherosclerotic risk as compared to so small dense LDL is very important. So since LDL level, if LDL level is more than one ninety, you start on treatment directly. If LDL start on treatment directly, if the patient has got diabetes. And he, the age is between forty and seventy-five. Start on treatment directly. What it? Thank you so much, sir. Sir, I answered most of the questions, but can take some questions from participants. Yes, sir, definitely because it's a huge yeah. topic, and many yeah. folks have been calling for total to to fifty. Or this is day level. You should see that if day level more than more than one ninety, less than one thirty. All less than one sixty. There is no. Start in the rib, but if the LDL cholesterol, because total cholesterol is non-HDL plus LDL cholesterol, so we have to 
give importance to the sub categories also which is very important so uh, if the total cholesterol is between 200 and 250 and ldl cholesterol is less ideally less than 130 there is no need of statin therapy he has got hypothyroidism obesity metabolic syndrome all that things first concentrate on that things if what does his life tell डेफिनेटली If it is more than seventy-five, then it's up to you. It is individualized whether to give statin or not after seventy-five years of age. But sixty-three, you definitely give statin, and it will have a good effect on you. Yeah, neurologic status also. Right. So, Doctor Pooja Doshi asks, any can uh, ACV ACVD score uh, calculation is possible below forty years of age? No, no, no. It is not possible. See, uh, so the guidelines are between forty and seventy-five. Less than forty age and more than seventy-five years of age, they are not including in the CVD score. If you try to click for age thirty-nine or thirty-eight, there is no option that score. So there are. It is between forty and seventy-five only. So most of the guidelines follow this course. So they have told that diabetes less than forty or more than five years. No question. Uh, doctor, she has systolic hypertension. She has developed many patients, many persons. So, लाइपोमा और इट इज टेंडिनस ऑफ लिपिड एबनॉर्मेलिटी because of uh, lipid am more towards lipoma subcutaneous what we normally see then uh we was Yeah. Sandeep Khod sir has uh, one right indication for statins. So the word test uh, repeat as right indication statins. So first one has liver cirrhosis. Uh, Maybe uh, just yeah. Yes, yeah. so we can definitely use statins. We can use statins in CKD patients. In patient who has got myopathy, with diabetes. Reduce LDL cholesterol to reduce the complications of diabetes. We give statin. So only patient with severe liver disease, pass uh, amounting to rhabdomyolysis, uh, we don't give statin. Otherwise, in all other patients, we can give statins. Statin is more approved. at our level we can definitely 
use JVD score. Then SJVD score. And you should be able to quote it which score because if the patient asks, now the patients are uh, there's a uh, lot. Uh, has not been documented. Not really. We have not used it. And if the combination doesn't work, relating atherosclerotic heart disease, then we use PCS K9 inhibitor in such case. Start with statin. Is statins when they started the first effect is there is Uh, so we have one more question. Uh, Dr. Meenal Pawas, what should be given in patient more than 75 years if lipids are high? Definitely, statins are not contraindicated more than 75 years. But we have to see the risk and benefit of it. If he is a hell and hardy 75 years, he is completely alert, conscious, oriented, moving about, doing all activities, moving out the house, then definitely we can give statin to him. Because Nowadays, we have seen patients with triple vessel disease when not going to do angioplasty or bypass in such patients. They are almost bedridden, and they are limited mobility. So in such patients, you can see the risk and benefit of setting and then you can give it. But at least small dose statin, definitely you can give it to patients. Yeah. So Madhvi Kotiyan asks, uh, 54 year female, uh, ideal between uh, 170 to 80, non-diabetic, or hypertensive parents died of CBD at late 70s. Should should she, uh, they take statins? Yeah. See, uh, she is hypertension. No, no, not not hypertension no? because they have died at a later age, and she is non hypertensive, non diabetic. Yeah. So uh, risk score is not very high. Non diabetic, non diabetic. Her blood pressure is normal. Uh, risk factor only age for her. So there is no need to give statin in this patient because she has already lived his 60 years of age, non hypertensive non-diabetic patient. So we can wait for statin therapy and just advise lifestyle modification in her case. If it goes beyond 190, then definitely we should start statin. Okay. Otherwise, just leave it. Okay. Yeah, 64, 65 age, the chances of getting her uh, coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease or a severe is less. So definitely no need to give aspirin also, no need with uh, HCQS? No, I don't think so. We have not uh, heard any thing, any article or uh, any data which shows it interacts with settings. I will find out. I will know anything also know. But there is some interaction between HCQS and statin therapy. Let's find out. Yeah. So one more person, one more doctor is asking if level have came down to 60, should we stop the statin? This type one diabetes DM. See, our target is uh, in uh, diabetes. The uh, only if the patient has diabetes and no disease or cerebral vascular disease. In case of diabetes, if it's come down to less than 55, then we can reduce the dose, to bring it to between 55 and 70. But if it is 70, what we do? Uh, if it is 60, then if the patient is on rosal statin 20 milligram, we reduce to 10 milligram and see what happens. You reduce to 10 milligram. Ask him to do report while after two or three months. If it is goes more than 80, 90, or 100, more than 100, then we again increase to 20 milligram. So this trial and error we have to do it because uh, it may be cost effective in a longer run. Maybe if you take it for five years, 10 years, you may reduce his microbial infection chances. But on a daily basis, it is not that cost effective. It is still maybe 10 rupees, 20 rupees a tablet. So reduce this dose from 20 milligram to 10 milligram. See after two months whether the lipid remains. His LDL cholesterol is 60 in a diabetic patient. So I think so you continue 10 milligram or you can give a 5 milligram tablet and see what happens. 
and then adjust the dose accordingly to fit 5 mg or increase to 10 mg so one more like last question uh, can we discontinue uh, dr manju asks can we discontinue statins once they have started uh, definitely ldl everything depends on lipid profile level everything depends on lipid profile level come here once we start statin his level comes down within the limit you stop statin and see okay. after two months or three months lipid profile if the lipid profile remains under control you can wait on statin don't start on him on statin But if the lipid profile goes high, or patient has got diabetes, the or patient with diabetes, coronary disease, post angioplasty patient, post bypass patient, post stroke patient, should be on statin therapy as is for otherwise. The diabetes patient ahe, only 50 age ahe. By default, give him statin till his levels come down to 70. And if it is maintained less than 70, in spite of statin therapy, you can easily withdraw statin. Give him aspirin or statin in that patient. For in that another scenario, if the patient has got diabetes and he is about 45 age or 47 age, then we give him statin and aspirin for second dose prevention. So less than 40 age, so suppose 45 and 50, and his stress test is absolutely normal. Hai. And the LDL cholesterol borderline. Hai. These are practical things. What I am telling. If a diabetic patient, 44 age, 45 age, his stress test is absolutely normal. Stress test is and lipids are fairly okay. LDL cholesterol number is 104, 99 is. Then we can wait on statin. So if the doctor tells you, "Can you show me what you have?" So that is why we say that if you have a lipid profile that is not controlled, you should not have a lipid profile. So that way you can also control patients' lipid profile. Thank you, Dr. Manju. So one more question. Uh, Dr. Manju, one more question. Statin be a cause of contusions in an 80 year old patient, 82 years old patient. Can be a cause of contusions. Uh, can statin be a cause of contusions in a 82 year old patient? No, no, contusions. No, 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 no. He must be on statin as well as aspirin or clopidogrel. Statin alone will not cause. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yes. if anybody wants to ask, they can ask me directly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, sir. It was a wonderful talk and so many questions solved. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. Now to Rupa, ma'am, for the concluding remarks. Yes. It's a very big topic. अनि अपने लेवल ला अपने ला एक्टिव बस्ट खूब लगता है. व्यवस्थित Yes, sir. Yes, sir. हजार <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, is uh, on statin with the lowest dose 10 mg and uh, um, now the uh, ldl is uh, 60 55 to 60 so with the uh, uh, him having high crp and all that so with the statin having anti inflammatory effect uh, we will have to continue his statin uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's a high risk candidate having a diabetes type one diabetes and retinal detachment. So retinal detachment have a different pathology, I think. So I have to evaluate for that. But if his LDS cholesterol is uh, because he have to he has to check statin for entire next sixty years of him, sixty years. So you can try to reduce those as much as possible. If it's 60 milligram, if it uh, 5 milligram, if it remains to LDL 60 milligram, you can continue with 5 milligram also. Uh, we can give electron if it comes a little lower. Do we do it alternate days or something like that? Uh, alternate days not recommend. The effect of it in tablet does not go in one day, single day. So uh, it is not recommended, but we can try. Or you can try this permutation combination. You can give 10 milligram alternate or 5 milligram daily. And basically, check his lipid profile. If basically, this permutation combinations we can try on no daily basis. Just, uh, do his lipid profile every three months and see what is the result. Okay, thank you. have to cut this status. I think Adam can do a different research on hypothyroidism. Lipid levels are essentially high or not necessary? Lipid levels in hypothyroidism and diabetes mellitus, it is triglyceride level which are high. But the levels normal in the water in it. The triglyceride don't say, some of them say, Adisha style. Okay. Hypothyroidism and obesity and diabetes mellitus. So, if it triglycerides between 150 and 200, just keep watch, address in diet management and hold anti-repeat therapy in his, uh, this patients. But the addition in schedule is all over. Okay, yes, yes, okay, yes, thank you. This is what I said. I need to order the same for the TSS. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, uh, Guzer, sir, thank you once again for this wonderful lecture. It has been a real scientific treat for all the participants. And there have been 120 participants for the session for the lecture. Uh, so uh, at the same time, a very lively person to have in our group. Uh, I thank GPA Scientific Committee Chairman, Dr. Praveen Darat, sir, and Dr. Prakash Mahajan, sir. Uh, on behalf of GPA secretaries and GPA office bearer team, I conclude today's session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, white white code, uh, white code. Please, sir, thank you. Sir. Uh, best way complete. Okay. No cooker. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank Have you. a great evening. Bye.